Relative Deprivation by Anna Romero, Braulio Flores, and Miguel Gonzalez. Relative deprivation occurs where individuals or groups subjectively perceive themselves as unfairly disadvantaged over others perceived as having similar attributes and deserving similar rewards. Relative deprivation theory does not necessarily have a particular class focus. The feeling of dissatisfaction can be felt anywhere in the class structure where people perceive their rewards as unfair compared to those similar to themselves. The concept of relative deprivation comes from Robert K. Merton's thoughts on instrumental enemy and differential opportunity structures in which Merton used said reference group theory as well as structural strain to argue why people in rough social situations lead to deviance whilst others do not. Conformity. When someone accepts the cultural goals of society and the means of acquiring those goals, the means can involve hard work and education. Many people who conform are from lower class families who face discrimination. They succeed from hard work or from education. The conformist will continue to do hard work, even when actual success is not important. For example, someone who comes from a lower class family and works a legitimate job in order to support their family. Or someone who obtains an education to have a career. Innovation. One who accepts the cultural goals of their society, however, will not accept the institutionalized means to achieve those goals. This person will innovate and look for an alternative way to gain success. Innovation explains most of the crime that is explained by strain theory. The alternative way to gain success may lead to a crime. For example, in order to gain wealth, someone may choose to drug deal. Other examples include theft, white-collar crime, and organized crime. Ritualism, often found among lower and middle class people who lower their level of expectations and goals to one that is more easily obtainable. Ritualism is the person that realizes they will never reach their original goals. These individuals hold jobs that they may never advance it, but they still perform their daily tasks in conformity with social expectations. Examples may be blue collar workers who can't move up in the company or a felon who can't get any job better than minimum wage payment. Retreatism is the withdrawal, opting out of socially defined desirable behavior. Retreatism is the individual who reject both the goals advanced by society and its accepted means that get them to these goals. For example, Someone going through a divorce or being fired and think alcohol or drugs will help them cope with this period of time. Another example may be individuals drop out of society and their rejection can be deviant, submitting to alcohol abuse or they may be subdued to criminal activities, illegal drug use or abuse. Rebellion the final mode that Merton brings up is rebellion and in reference to the others who either agree with the cultural goals and means or rejects said goals and means. Rebellion rejects the goals and means and comes up with their own. An example would be like how street gangs or motorcycle gangs come up with their own personal goals for their cultures as well as their means of obtaining these particular goals no matter legal or illegal. Another example would be how the Amish live their lives secluded from normal society and do not agree with the same ideals of technology and electricity or even cars. They have selected different goals for themselves and their means are quite different the average citizen as well. Terrorism Terrorism is also a big example that was too large of a topic not to include under rebellion. 
basically a terrorist group in their own way is similar to a gang in a way, yet obviously the fact they use unlaw means to coerce or intimidate to push political, religious, or ideological ideas on others differs from your normal street gang. That being said, they also create their own cultural goals and their means as explained are quite far from the norm even for the average criminal or gang member. To compare straight, relative deprivation is a bit more of a tricky situation as that definition implies that these terrorist groups compare themselves to other groups in an envious way yet many. Terrorist groups believe that their ideals are better and in the grander scheme of things will make everything better for everyone. So in way you could argue that these groups may be upset that other groups are thriving without following their ideas and this is why they proceed to commit terrorism on these other groups. Yet considering how complex terrorism is and how it is continuously changing it's hard to pinpoint the exact connection. Merton's five modes of adaptations are essential in understanding what relative deprivation is. In a stable society, both means and goals are accepted by everyone and are available to all. In an unstable society, Merton's five modes of adaptation theory are the ways individuals respond and adapt to not having an equal access to institutionalized means. 